I just got home. I went big box store shopping to find a sad plant. I'm doing a separate video and I was at Target and browsing the dollar section. Look at this cute little vampire cat mug I picked up at the dollar section. Well, it was $3, but it is so cute. Just like a coffee mug or to put a plant in. I just thought it was adorable. I couldn't resist. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Melissa and I'm really happy you're here. I just love plants and I love collecting plants and growing plants and I just love being here and just, you know, I just love sharing my journey and sharing like helpful tips that I have learned along the way of collecting and growing plants and I'm happy to share and you know help anyone out there so that's the main reason for being here and having this channel I just love sharing and I just want to help others because YouTube is how I got started with plants I just watched YouTube like a crazy person and learned so much. So I'm really happy to be here and thank you guys for being here. I love plant mail. I don't know, there's just something about getting a plant in the mail and the surprise of it all. So you guys know the stressful situation with thrips in my plant room and just everything. So I was like so stressed out and I'm like, I need a plant. Well, actually it was that. And then part of it was like, I don't know. I was like browsing some reels and a reel came up showing this plant. And I don't know what reel it was or whose account it was that I saw the plant on, but I saw it and I instantly fell in love. I had never even heard of this plant before. And I just like had to have it. I actually did a Google search, not a Google search. I went onto Etsy and I typed in the name of the plant and I was just browsing. This was like midnight, I think. I saw this shop that was selling a few cuttings. So I'm like, okay, tempting, it's tempting. So I saved it and I didn't buy it. And so the next day I'm obviously still thinking about it. And I'm like, I really want this. I really need it. I'm about to have a stressful weekend spraying my entire plant collection down. I need it. And I was just like checking my email and the shop sent me a 10% off coupon. So I'm like, that's how they got me in. They suckered me in with a 10% coupon. <laughs> so of course I went back on and immediately bought it because I'm like, if I don't, I'm going to regret it. So yeah, that's the story of why I have another plant here. It's just gorgeous. Now this actually is a cutting. It's not a full plant. It is a cutting and I'll have to root it first and everything, but that's okay because I just had to have it. So it is, I am taking a chance buying a cutting. I just didn't want to pay for a full plant. So I'm just like, I just love buying cuttings and propagating them and rooting them and growing them myself. It just makes for, I don't know, you just like get to know your plant in that process and you get to know what it likes, what it doesn't like, and you get to care for it and watch it grow up. And I don't know, those are the, like the plants I like caring for. I like buying cuttings. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But enough chatting, let's get into this box. I just got home, so it's been sitting actually in my mailbox for a few hours. Accidentally, I saw the Etsy notification that it was delivered and I'm like, shoot, I am out and I can't go home and open it right now. So it's okay. I think it'll be fine. It wasn't, it was hot today, but I don't think it was in there too long. So I'm going to dig in and show you guys what I got. Okay, I accidentally put a dead battery in, so I am back. So I don't know anything about this Etsy shop. I have not purchased from this Etsy shop before. Like I said, I usually just, if there's a particular plant that I want, I will browse through Etsy and I just kind of go with my gut and it, like I just like see a plant and if it speaks to me, I do research and kind of feel like if it's a shop that doesn't have a lot of reviews or if it's, I don't know, I just kind of look at the reviews and if they're like rated really good and the prices seem like fair, then I'll definitely just like take my chances. I followed them on Instagram. I don't know anything about this person or their shop, but I'll put like their Instagram here so you can see it. And it's called, the shop name is TL plant studio and they have a lot of great reviews so i ordered this on august 26th and the 26th was on friday yeah so i was browsing thursday night and i made the purchase on friday so today is tuesday the 30th so i purchased it on friday 
And I think they sent it out on Friday. Yeah, they did ship it on Friday because I, I got a notification. So they shipped it Friday, and so it's been in the mail three days, I believe. I just did priority mail. I didn't pay for Express this time because I was trying to save some money on this plant. I normally pay for Express just because I don't like to personally leave plants in the mail that long. And it really depends on the time of year too. I used to buy plants all the time in the mail, but I've kind of slowed down on buying plants as much. This Etsy shop is based in Texas. So it came to Texas, to Savannah, Georgia, where I'm located. So yeah, let's dig in. I'm really excited. I'm actually on my floor right now because I don't have a chair in here. So hopefully you guys can see. Okay, I'll kind of hold it up so you can see me opening it. I actually just unboxed a import order and I feel like I've had all these new plants recently, which makes me really excited. After I told myself I wasn't gonna buy any more plants for a while, sometimes you just have to buy a plant, just buy the plant. So that's how it is inside. Just has paper on top. I don't want you guys to see the shipping label so it's on the bottom. Okay. I'm really excited for this. I haven't decided, I haven't decided how I'm gonna propagate it. I don't know if I'll do water or use sphagnum moss. I'm not sure. I kinda wanna do moss and put it in my cabinet, but I don't wanna like stress it out with like the super bright intense light in there cause those lights, you know, emit a lot of foot candles and those plants are, it's just like really strong lights. I'm thinking maybe I'll do water and put it in front of my window. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Which I need to go get a vase of water. So that's what it looks like inside. And that's just like a thank you for your order card. And it just says, you know, to follow on Instagram and another 10% off on your next order on their website. And so they have a code for that. That's nice. They want me to come back and purchase another plant. I love how it's packaged already. So it had the paper on top securing it. And then this is like packed in between paper. So this this plant, when you shake it, is not moving. So I wasn't sure how they, that's all that's in there. I wasn't sure how they were gonna have this ship just because it was a cutting, but I see a nursery pot there. So maybe they put it in moss, I'm not sure. Oh, they left a little care instruction. Please do not repot or disturb the plant's roots when you just receive your new plant. Doing so might cause more shock and take longer for the plants to recover from shipping stress. Please allow at least one month. Let the plants acclimate to your new environment first before repotting. Only repot when the plant is root bound and only water when the sphagnum moss or soil is almost dried. So I really, really, really like this. So that's the instructions. You guys may not be able to see it because of the camera. It might be like inverted wrong. That is, I really like that a lot. And I love how sturdy this, this is, this packaging. I'm super impressed already. This plant is not budging in here. So I, I really like that they give you instructions. That is an A plus for me. So, okay, so whatever, if this is in moss, then I may not have to do anything with it. I'll just have to, you know, keep it watered when it's dried. I do wish that this was like maybe in a paper, something like this cardstock here so that you don't damage it when you're peeling this off. That way you can refer back to it. I guess I could take a picture of it. I'll just take a picture of it and that way I'll have the instructions. So I'm just peeling off tape. There's tape here. I'm so excited. Oh, there's tape on top too. I would recommend not using an exacto knife when opening plant mail so you don't damage your plant. I'm just a crazy person.
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was so excited. So, and I reuse all my packaging materials. I have like a separate box I put everything in. So if I ship plants or if I need to mail something out, I have like packaging ready to go, which is sort of nice. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Do you see this beauty? Oh my goodness. Look at the petiole, you guys. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Any guesses? I honestly have never heard of this plant. It is a philodendron. It is a philodendron serpents. And I actually need to like figure out what a serpent is because I have no idea. It is so fuzzy. It kind of resembles like the Squamy Ferrum, how it has like the fuzzy petiole. Did you guys get a good look at that? This is so cute. I love the leaf shape too. I just think it's beautiful. And I'll um, put some Instagram maybe pictures up on the screen for you so you can kind of see what like maybe a more like fuller plant of this looks like. It looks really happy, it looks healthy. Okay, sorry about that again. I am literally out of space on my memory card, so I have to hurry. I'm probably gonna have to go get my other memory card. That's the thing with like trying to film in advance. Like I don't have like, I have two memory cards and it's not enough storage if I like film in advance. I should have used my, I should have checked it first. See, I was trying to film in a hurry and this is what happens. Oh, so they just use sphagnum moss. Trying to hurry, remove the fluff. So yeah, I don't want to take him out. I did see the picture on the website, so I know it's just like, you know, it's just the node and the stem part and it doesn't have any roots. So yeah, I have a damp moss in there and then I will just do my best to keep this moist until I get roots and I'll be really excited when it starts to root and grow for me. So yes, I am super happy. I think I was talking about their Instagram. I'll maybe put some pictures of this on the screen. I don't know where it cut off. But I'm so excited. I just never, this plant was never even on my radar. I just think it's so cute and the fuzzy, I don't know. But yes, I love the packaging. The plant's in great condition. I'm really happy with it. 10 out of 10, I would definitely buy from them again, just with my experience so far. So yes, I am really excited. So thank you guys for watching me unbox this plant. It's my new little baby. I'm really excited. I can't wait for new growth. That's going to be so awesome. Yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know and I will be happy to get back to you. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I'm sure you guys will be seeing him a lot on Instagram too. So yes, I love this plant already so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all later.